Let's talk about Heisman finalists right quick. And the question that everybody wants to know about is, how is Stetson Bennett here? And I think that people sometimes just forget. It's all about what's happening right this second, et cetera, et cetera, right? But if you just look at what happened last year, Aiden Hutchinson was there as the number two guy last year. And he was not even the best player at his position in the country. Like, he was just the biggest name on the best team. And that's what you've got with Stetson Bennett. He is the biggest name on the best team in football. And voters around this country, and there's over 900 of them, they believe that the best team has to be represented in this individual award. Now, that doesn't mean that Stetson's going to win this thing. Uh And yeah, you can look at it a bunch of different ways. Like, define the Heisman as what it really is. Is it the best player? Or is it what it's become over the past two decades where it is the best player on the best team? Like, there are some players that just overwhelm it, right? Johnny Manziel, uh, Lamar Jackson, etc. Guys like that that are not on national title contending teams, but are so incredibly good, and you know that the team would be nothing without them. That's that's not what we've got here. Uh, USC, I think the guy that's going to win this is Caleb Williams, and I think that the reason why he's going to win it is because you know that that USC team would not be very good without them. The reason Hinton Hooker maybe isn't there is because of how good Joe Milton looked against Vanderbilt the very next week after he went out with an injury. It's entirely possible to look at it that way. Uh, you look at Max Duggan, like any other year other than Caleb Williams doing what he's doing, and Max Duggan would have won the, the award this year. I, I'm still convinced that had he led a game-winning touchdown drive there at the end, this thing would have been a lot closer than it appears to be. But that's when you look at Stetson Bennett, you forget about guys like Ken Dorsey at Miami. Like Ken Dorsey was not the best player on that Miami team back in 2001. It, it, he wasn't even close. And he, he finished like third in the Heisman uh, uh, voting. Like, Ken Dorsey? Really? Oh, the reason is because... He is the guy that had been there the longest. He is the guy that had already won a national championship. Like, go look at A.J. McCarron. It's the same thing. Like, A.J. McCarron was not the best player on that Alabama team. It wasn't even close. Like, that was 2013. It just You see it time and time again, and it, there are a lot of voters out there that want the best team represented. And whoever's on that best team, whoever the biggest name is, that's who's going to get it. So that's something maybe if, if people want this changed, you're going to have to have a change in votership. Now, is it media guys or is it past Heisman winners that you need to pay attention to? Who needs to change in this? It's a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.